In this episode, I will show you how to get to the Isaac website and how to navigate through the website to get the stuff that you want. So this is my Google Chrome. I'll click on it and here it comes. So go to the search and you type international international okay it has popped out here but you go ahead and type it because i have been logging into this website on, almost on daily basis so it just pops out for me so just type international astronomical search collaboration then you just click it by the way um you have to connect your computer to to the internet before you do this you know that so before you can log in you have to connect it during the first video my computer wasn't connected to the internet but in this side you have to connect it so now we are at the isaac website and look at the different sections i'll come back to this so this is the home section so let's scroll down and if you check very well you see the welcome to isaac um you must have heard me call this isaac yes we call it isaac that's the pronunciation so so you can continue to scroll down to see the different things there so look at this you can take your time to read through those things so this is the participants from all around the world so by the end of the month after participating in the asteroid search you you receive certificates from isaac so you can decide to pose with those certificates with your team members and you send the photos to to isaac and they will upload it here it's very wonderful that you do that and also we encourage people to share this program whenever they participate on their social media handles with hashtags so that people can search and see it. All right, so right, continue scrolling down. You will see announcement, the current announcement. Then you will see um, original fan detections made by Isaac Citizen Scientist. So um, look at this is 11,591 preliminary discoveries and this is 67 provisional so preliminary discoveries are actually the first discovery the first stage of discovery okay for instance if you participate in the Isaac in the, in the asteroid search and maybe you saw some you measured some moving objects and you you have to send the report you have to make an NPC report and you send it to to the Isaac website and the Isaac will then forward it to the Minor Planet Center. So it usually takes for up to six months they will report back to you to say maybe maybe you have discovered an asteroid or maybe you have not. So but if it is true, if the signals are true, your discoveries become provisional. So you can just Imagine, imagine the the margin. So eleven thousand five hundred and eighty-one to sixty-seven provisional, and our African team have has made up to about twenty-five of them. So we have contributed a lot to this. So you can go ahead and scroll down. You see upcoming campaigns, upcoming campaigns. Uh, this is uh, uh, from these are regional campaigns all Bolivia Astro Research, all Colombia Astro Research, all Serbia Astro Research. And if you look down, you see our group here, uh, Pan African Astro Research campaign. So we are going to be participating on the February 15, 2023. So and the campaign ends at this time. So one month program. So and just screw you see partner. NASA is a partner to this program. Of course, they are funding it. Okay, let's return to the first, the first place.
to the first thing we saw. So registration. So if you want to register your team, you can click on this. You can click on this and the registration tab will pop out. So let's scroll down and see something. So you can take your time to read that. Then register for a campaign. Click that. And a form comes out. So you can scroll to see how it how it looks like and information that are therein. So let me write my name here. This is team name. I'm a member of Astronomers Without Borders, so let me register my team here uh, for the next campaign. So we have Astronomers Without Borders, Nigeria, Nigeria. So then country is Nigeria. Okay, then team name. So, write my name here, Miracle Shibuzor Masa. Then my email is this. All right, so I can go on and on to enlist my team members um, in these available spaces. Then after enlisting them, I will forward the name, sorry, I'll forward the, the form to this email here. Then you get registered. So, but one thing I want to point out here is who you choose to write his or her name here becomes the team leader. So the team will have to log in with the email of this person as the username. So as I've written my details here, it means that I'm going to work or serve as the coordinator of my team. So it is better that you use your teacher or your instructor as the team leader okay so let's go back to so where we go to this place registration so you can go back all right so in case if you have um, questions you want to ask um, Isaac you can also send it to that email too well, before you do that, I would suggest you click on the frequently asked question to know if your question has been answered by Isaac. So let's go to another page to see what's there. So current campaigns, this is the current campaign that is ongoing. So you can see the different groups of Bangladesh, Astro Research Campaign, all is really and a such campaign. So, different groups. All right. So let's see what's in this um, Astro Astrometrica. So Astrometrica happens to be the computer program that we use to search for asteroids. So. And here is the software. Download and run the the EXE to install Stumatrica. So if you click on that link, it will download the the raw file of the program. So and look at this. This is um, an animation. So this is how we spot asteroids. So asteroids are very distinct. 
So we will get to see that in the future. So this is um the astrometrical guide. This is uh, a manual that we walk you through on how to use the astrometrical program. And then you're gonna need these practice image sets to to learn how to use the program. Um, these practice image sets are not really different. They're not so much different from the from the real data that we use. The only difference is that um, the practice image sets are old. These are old. After downloading it, I will show you the date when it was collected. So, but the ones that we use are very are fresh data, maybe just fresh data from the observatory. So, so there's no much different. You, we're gonna use it to learn how to use this computer program called Astrometrica together with this guide. So, go ahead to download them. Go ahead to download them. I'm gonna click on this to download it. It's already downloading. Okay. I'm going to click on that and let me click on this. All right, so as it is downloading, I have to make some comments. If you observe here, they said not for Mac operating system. Like I said in, the, said in the previous video, that this program works with Windows operating systems. But if you have other operating systems, we have a means of bypassing that. We have experts that can help you to do that. So you can you can um, you can contact us to be able to achieve that. So, it's dramatic. So, as I I wait for this to download, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to how to install the program and load the image data onto the stomatic program. Thanks for listening.